go. So I think the 10% atmospheric pressure is a nice spot for scooping. We'll have to just try it again and uh, Hick showed you. That is a big sun. Allah. So this is probably the longest uh, route that I've ever done in Pioneer so far. I gotta admit, I rather like it. <laughs> I like the the route planning and the scooping and just going places. Even even if it's just pushing a butt door thread. I think I've been to that system before. Yeah. Sure. Oh, this is cops. No, I don't have anything but gas, so go ahead. Traveling this great distance. It just feels right. It feels good to do these kind of jumps. These big long routes. It's not really Zaro Rad. It's not really a a feeling that many other space games do. Well, I suppose they might, but there's not a whole lot. Ooh, that's another big one. Right, you jump into the system and oh, wow, it's a big sun. Amazing, right? The tide. And elite, dangerous. When the route plan works, it gets this feeling down good too. You're not scooping fuel from um, gas giants, but you're doing it from the sun. And that's <laughs> that's another hair-raising experience the first time you do it. But once you once you get it down, it's actually a whole lot easier than gas giant scooping. Although gas giant scooping might not be as hard as I think it is. <laughs> Once I get it down, it might work okay. So here's Hicks showed you. We're going the wrong way. So let's head over to Hicks showed you AA and get some more gas. Before we do that, how much gas do we need to get to Epsilon Aridani, 42 tons? Okay. We can probably pick up all the gas we need here. Okay, so we finally swung ourselves about. It's close, though. It's so close that this actually might be a slightly difficult approach. Or maybe not. I think this is actually going a bit smoother than our first gas stop. Just... Just closer. So let's check real quick what the gravity is here. Uh, 7.79 g. That's pretty. That's pretty easy. 9.91. Uh, that's bigger, but that's okay. All right, shouldn't be too bad. Let's maneuver for breaking. Since we're in a pretty good spot. Oh, we can kind of see it already. Let's see. Ooh, 
Look at that. It's got rings. I like that. And this might be a nice place to scoop from. Rather scenic. So let's push that marker back up. Yeah, we can probably speed time up a bit more here. Yeah, it's got rings. That's nice. That's a nice looking gas giant. Red. Oh, I don't know if it's red from the sun or from natural coloring. Because it is really close to the sun. I bet this would be pretty hot in real life. dangerous you could get to this gas giant drop out in the rings explore the rings a bit you can do some mining and the gas giant rings and elite always look really cool I suppose once you've been to one you've seen one you've probably seen them all but it still feels really good to to kind of drop out into these and drop out into the rings and take pictures. Hmm. This is rather small. Oh, but this is this is good too. I like this. Oh. We're flying under the rings. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. And look at how thick this atmosphere is. We probably won't have to go as far down as uh, the last place we did to get to that 10% atmosphere. Oh, but this is so cool. Let me switch cameras real quick. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, wow. That's nice. We're so small. And look how big the rings are. Oh, man. Even this medium ship is tiny compared to gas giant's rings. Amazing. But we have to get scoopy. So enough, enough gawking. Quite hit the atmosphere yet. There we go. The atmosphere. Ooh. Well, we're already at two percent. Okay. Let's uh Ooh, we're getting kinda hot here. I can't tell if we're fuel scooping yet. There we go. And we'll swap to uh, cruise mode. And let's take her down to 10%.
we've hit the limit for our forward cruise, and here we are at 10%. So let's level ourselves out and enjoy the view while we scoop the fuel. We got 24 tons scooped, uh, but we do need to refuel our tank. That was easy. How much do we need to get to uh, Epsilon Aerodoni? We need 40 two tons of fuel. Okay. Forty-two tons plus however much we need for a fuel weight. That's something I still haven't figured out because you need more fuel to push more fuel but as you use the fuel you now have less fuel, so you need less fuel to push that fuel. And there is a nice balance in how much fuel you need and how much fuel you need to push the fuel that I haven't really figured out. Like, if I had bought enough fuel to travel to Epsilon Eridani at uh, Guero, then I would end up with more fuel because we use fuel as we go so we end up with extra fuel and I'm not entirely sure how to minimize that I suppose we could use our fuel tanks to uh, add or subtract fuel as necessary because we could just jettison the hydrogen fuel. Try to keep our descent rate at zero meters per second. We got 30 tons already. This is... Yeah, I think 10%, the 10% atmospheric pressure, is probably a good place to do our scooping. So let's see. Now we need 45 tons of fuel. How much was it before? 42 tons of fuel. Yeah, so we will uh, use our fuel tank once we get 42 or some odd tons of fuel to uh, pump down if we need it. Alright, see, now we need, well, we still need 45. We'll probably pick up a few more tons of fuel while we jump. Which is okay. <laughs> Alright, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of extra fuel. Let's go ahead and switch the map to Epsilon Eridani. Alright, 39 tons. 10%. Alright, this is not... Earth Terra, though. Now, Terra's a planet name, isn't it? Yeah. I think the War... Warhammer? No, not Warhammer. The Mech Warrior games refer to the uh, Earth system as Terra, though. I don't remember. Ooh. 
Ah, there's a... Oh, there's a few ports here. Now you can see the spaceships here on the radar. It feels like it's been a while since I've seen spaceships on the radar. Door. So how many jumps do we have left? Only seven more jumps. And and. <laughs> and and. Welcome to the and and system. We sell ampersand. Or maybe this is some kind of logical statement. And and. Ampersand, ampersand. Part of some kind of the uh, if statement. Who knows? Esardu. Esardu sounds familiar. Tsubatai. Tsubatai sounds familiar too. I, I don't remember if I've been there or not. Sounds familiar. I might have been here. So there are Chang World. Yeah, there are. There is at least one settlement here. So I might have. I might have come here on a delivery mission. In Mule Xylophus. But I don't remember. Three more jumps. We're almost there. This is a long one, though. And you can see that we have two more tons of fuel than we need. Alright, we have nine tons of fuel, but we only need seven to get to our target. Orgier Dani. Respect the law. That's fine. So, what? It told me I needed 45 tons, but I actually only needed 43 tons, which is still one more ton than we needed when we stopped in Hekishoryu. Heki Heki Alright, now we're going to go to Italine, because I know there's a pinch up there. So here we are in Epsilon Eridani. The home... What? What was the star system called? What was this place called? The Commonwealth of Independent Worlds. The seat, the capital of the Commonwealth. And also the very first colony of humankind. Home of Eagle's Nest and the Epsilon Eridani com Community? Commodity? What was it? Commercial! I knew it was a C word. Commercial Center. Which is probably the worst space station I've ever tried to land on. I, I think I talked about it before where I said I ended up chasing this space station through uh, <laughs> the orbit, through orbit. It was here on New Hope. Right, so let's uh, check our approach real quick. Shoot. Not a good approach. We're gonna have to. Uh... Do some maneuvering. But we're pretty much in breaking position. Breaking distance. So. Speaking of which, how was the gravity on New Hope? 0.7. Okay. So 
So we are going to have to watch the braking gauge. Make sure it's not too high. Alright, now let's check. Now let's check. Our approach. Oop. Where will Italy be when we make it across the planet? Yeah, that's in a good position. Okay, yeah. Hopefully, this will be a nice approach. planet yet though there's the moon Hades oh there's the planet what a nice looking planet where's it's a exactly it's a lean Oh, this will be an interesting approach. We're going to have to skip past the moon. <laughs> Head towards the city. Okay. So. Should be interesting. the moon, Hades, uh, in orbit around Hades is another space station called Eagle's Nest. There's Eagle's Nest. Oh, I've gotten some advice on how to best approach planets and even though I think I've said this before I'm sorry <laughs> but all of that advice has gone out of my brain oh wow look at that look at the size of that moon look at the proximity you can see the shadow on the planet spending too much time talking breaking wow wow look at that I can't imagine living on this planet <laughs> and the moon just putting this huge shadow on it that must have been not that must be a really really wacky kind of planet to live on Okay, so we drop our marker here. We should probably slow down a bit. No, I don't know. No, we should slow down. We probably don't have to slow down. We're making a nice approach. Okay, yeah, we'll let the game do it naturally. Wow, this is... This is a good approach for me, I think.
relatively. Alright, once we actually hit the atmosphere, it might be a little different, but so far, so good. Too much breaking. But that's okay, I suppose. Uh, yeah, the novel is gonna ruin the approach somehow. But at least this uh, gives us a nice view of the landscape of New Hope. It's a little more mountainous than some of the other planets we've landed on. August 4th. I think we left in the middle of July, so that was a few weeks. Look how big this city is. I mean, it's the capital of the Commonwealth. That makes sense. I don't know if Itzling is the capital of the Commonwealth. This is the capital planet of the Commonwealth. Okay, we're within five kilometers. Let's get docking permission. Go ahead and turn on uh, cruise control. Cruise mode. Hmm, there's nobody here. Where is everybody? Right, let's put down. out. Put this little triangle here just at the bottom of that square, that target. That way we should land more or less right in the middle of the pad. Excellent. Well, that's a fair docking fee. Whew. Okay. Wow, this was a long one, wasn't it? So we made our trip. We've come to Italy. <sighs> Next time, we'll go and take a look at the paint shop. See how we can make this ship a little more pretty. But for now... That's it for today. We'll see you all later. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.